Blue Bloods premieres its final season starting tonight on CBS. This morning, the cast visited the Empire State Building for a ceremony in which they gave out some special honors, and our Dave Carlin was there. This high five from Tom Selleck. Contact made with the little hand of Ryan Diller in the arms of his mom, Stephanie. Slain father and husband, NYPD detective Jonathan Diller, is among fallen heroes honored at this ceremony. Thank you for your service and your sacrifice. That observes the Empire State Building turning true blue for the hit CBS show, Blue Bloods. Two, three. We're just happy to be here to support them and thank them for supporting us. Sani Lou was here with daughter Angelina, remembering along with these TV stars their hero and the city's hero, fallen detective Wen Jan Lu. It's a big honor to be here. Camera, action. Blue Bloods is praised for helping the public see the challenging lives of officers and their families. The next stop for the group was Empire's Observation Deck. As you can see, they made it not just to the top five of broadcast television shows in terms of ratings, but here to the top of the Empire State Building. Fifteen years now, there is a legacy to, I think, commemorate. It's a lot of gratitude. The enthusiasm of a very large audience for a very long time. To have the support of the families, um, of the men and women who actually put themselves on the line, you know, every day. It's, uh, it means more than anything. We're hearing maybe spinoffs, maybe special movies. It should happen. We can yeah. make it happen now. We have eight episodes yes. left. We'll see what comes next. Bathed in blue, the Empire State Building doing this in partnership with CBS Studios and the DEA Widows and Children's Fund. Dave Carlin, CBS News, New York. A job well done. Dave is our reporter covering arts and entertainment in the tri-state area. You can see all of his reporting by scanning the QR code right there on your screen. And you can watch Blue Bloods at 10 o'clock tonight right here on CBS New York and followed by us, the news, at 11 o'clock.